I USA har massakren på Columbian High School i Colorado forleden sat en voldsom debat i gang om Amerikas forhold til våben. Præsident Clinton har stillet forslag om at stramme våbenlovgivningen, men den magtfulde våbenlobby vil løse problemet ved at bevæbne elever og lærere, så de bedre kan forsvare sig. De fleste mennesker i denne verden reagerer på tragedien i Littleton, Colorado, ved at spørge sig selv, hvorfor skal der være så mange våben i USA? Men i Amerika findes der en stor gruppe mennesker, som konkluderer anderledes. De mener, at der er alt for få våben på de amerikanske skoler. We think we need to make it possible for teachers and principals and other adults to have the ability to protect themselves and the students at a school and if they have a concealed carry permit they should be able to take that gun onto the school. Lærer og udvalgte elever skal have våben så de kan beskytte sig selv og andre. Der skal sættes hårdt mod hårdt. It'll be a much safer society. It will be like Israel, which had been plagued by terrorists killing students at schools. They armed their teachers and their principals, and in some cases even had parents come in as part of an armed patrol. USA stod sammen i sorgen, men spørgsmålet om hvad der nu skal gøres har splittet landet mere end nogensinde. We have a huge hunting and sports shooting culture in America, and unlike many of you, I grew up in it. I was 12 years old the first time I took a 22 and shot it at a can on a fence post in the country. I know about this. I den våbenkultur Bill Clinton taler om kører man rundt med klistermærker som dem her på sin bil. Våben redder menneskeliv eller bekæmp kriminalitet, skyd igen. Et hvert forsøg på at stramme våbenlovgivningen betragtes som antiamerikansk og sætter følelser i gang, som stammer helt tilbage fra den amerikanske uafhængighedskrig fra mere end 200 år siden. My first reaction was that if Bill Clinton is successful in what he's talking about, he will be much more successful in getting gun control than was King George the Third, when he started our war for independence by trying to confiscate our firearms. Holdningsforskellen viser et problem, som rækker langt videre end selve volden. En konflikt mellem land og by, mellem en korporakultur og et moderne samfund. I want to make a plea to everybody who is waiting for the next deer season in my home state to think about this in terms of what our reasonable obligations to the larger community of America are. Trods protester holder USA's største organisation for våbenejere deres årlige kongres i denne weekend i Denver, Colorado.